Okay, so here we have a graph for a linear function. And what we want to do is write our linear equation. To do that, we are going to use our equation y equals mx plus b. So we're going to start with the easy part, which is figure out what b is. b is the y-intercept, and in this case, the y-intercept is right here. It's where the line crosses the y-axis. So we can say that in this case, b equals 4. Then we're going to work in our slope. Now we know that our slope equals rise over run. Okay. So the way that we do slope rise over run is we are going to look at our line and we are going to put, pick two points that this line touch perfectly. What does that mean? That it touches any corner of the grid. So in this case, I'm going to pick this point and I'm going to pick this point. So I'm going to go from here to here. First with my rise, and my rise is 2 up. My run is 1 to the right, which means that my rise is 2 over 1, which is 2. So now I'm ready to write my equation. Y equals M, which is the slope, and we found that it was 2, X plus B plus 4. Okay, let's work on another example right here. I have another line, this one right here. And one more time, we are going to use y equals mx plus b. One more time, we're going to start with b, which is wherever the line, this line right here, crosses the y-axis, so that'll be right here. In this case, B equals negative 2 because the line is touching the y-axis right here at negative 2. Then I'm going to figure out my m, my slope. And we know the slope is rise over run. So one more time, we have to select a point that touches a grid. So I'm going to go from here. And it doesn't matter which one you use because you can use this point right here or that one, etc. I just happened to pick that one. So we're going to go our rise, 1, 2. So we went up 2. My rise is 2. And my run, 1, 2, 3. So since I cannot make the division, this is going to stick like that, 2 or 3. So now we're ready to write our equation. Y equals m, which we found it to be 2 over 3, x plus b. But in this case, b is negative, so we're going to say minus 2. Okay, one last example. <clears throat> we are still using y equals mx plus b. We are still going to look first for the B because it's the easy one. So in this case, here's where the line crosses the y-axis. So B equals 3. Then I need to pick another point. So in this one, you notice how it's a little difficult to tell, but then we know that the line touches exactly that grid point. So I'm going to pick this one. So now I'm going to go to my slope, which is rise over run. Okay, so we're going to go from here, from this point right here, to this one point right here. So we're going to first going to have to move down, one, two, three. So that's going to make it a negative three because we're going down. And then my run, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be negative three over four. And one more time, we cannot make this division, so my slope will stay as the fraction negative three over four. Now, we just need to write our equation. y equals m, which happens to be negative 3 over 4. And then plus b, which in this case, sorry, x. And then plus b, which in this case is a positive 3. And this is how you write the equation 
of any line that is a linear function on a graph.